night y'all so I had the whole pool to myself it was his hat Mr. Krabs he was number one So I am about to go get my massage. It is something light so I can just take it off and take it on. But first I have to go meet Angel, my butler, and then go to Amstar. That's the people who are taking me to the airport and I give them my information and stuff. So let's go. Oh shit, I don't got my key, y'all. I'm actually late. My appointment is at 11. It's like 10.53. Uh, Angel said the place is closed, but I think Amstar said it'll take part in like five minutes. I mean, to do what I need to do. All right, y'all. So I don't, I ain't find Angel, but I asked one of the guys where the spa is, and I think he said this way. I see the gym. I'm just looking for the spa. Oh, that's nice. Let me show y'all. I don't see no spa, so maybe it's back this way. Excuse me, where's the spa? The spa? Okay, for like the massages? Mm -hmm. For a massage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweetie, that's my butler right there. He's gonna show me the rest of the way. Thank you. Enjoy your vacation. Oh, he was so sweet. Oh. Yeah, I can find the the place though. I don't want to miss this appointment. So I'll just have to try them tomorrow. Well, you leaving tomorrow? No, I'll leave uh, Saturday. Uh, tomorrow, that's the but they called me and told me to they be down there from 9 to 11. But I was at 10, so I had to start getting ready. Yeah. 
My lashes, they're gonna start to melt. I don't want that. No. No. Only my lashes. Yes. Massage, you guys. 
I'll see you when I'm done. Just finished my massage, y'all. I'm in the little pool area now. It's hot. Okay. And I messed up my lashes. I don't know if y'all can see. I messed up my lashes when I was laying on that pillow. It, I guess it got smushed. But she is such an amazing, I'm sorry y'all can't hear me, but she is such an amazing masseuse. Because at first they were like, oh, you got a, a female masseuse. I was like, mm. Cause they don't be strong enough but deep tissue oh yeah she deep tissued me okay so in my room they gave some fresh juice i think i'm about to go back to the room and get me a bathing suit because i didn't know they had all of this stuff right here and i want to get in that hydro hypothermic jacuzzi thing that like that was real good so i think i'm gonna do that but i will keep y'all updated my massage was everything and more like the aromatherapy the music she did a little um sound bells and all that amazing so i'm back it's been like 45 minutes since that last clip i had to go back get my bathing suit because i wanted to get into that pool and i forgot all about bringing my bathing suit so I'm about to change now. She gave me a new locker.
it, y'all. So by now I'm in this um, hydrothermic something pool. I'm gonna put the name of it right here. But pretty much after your massage, you let me get away from all this noise. Hold on. So pretty much after your massage, this relaxes your muscles and just relieves further tension. So after I'm done with the pool, I'm gonna go into the jacuzzi. And I'm just gonna enjoy this right now and then I'm gonna get right back to y'all when I'm in a jacuzzi. All right, y'all, so I had the whole pool to myself. And I found this little corner over here for me to meditate in. It was so peaceful, let me show you. I sat right here and I meditated. And I was just listening to the water. It was so, so peaceful. Like, uh. So now I'm about to go to the jacuzzi. I'm about to show y'all. Yo, I always wanted to do this, do a little pedicure with the fish. I'm scared. I got like these little rocks at the bottom for your feet. They got little rocks at the bottom for your feet. And you just um. Now this is where I took this trip, y'all, to relax, to be at peace, happy, to nurture myself, be in my divine feminine, even though my lashes is messed up. It... <sighs> so y'all will not be seeing me turning up and twerking and dancing and at no clubs. This is what y'all gonna be seeing me doing, relaxing, massages, facial. I'm really thinking about doing that little pedicure with the fish but my toes are already done and I don't know if they're gonna chip the polish off or what. I just got my toes done on Monday, but I really wanna try that experience. I never had that. But I'm about to enjoy this hot tub and I will call y'all when I am on my next thing. Relaxed. Like I almost fell asleep in that jacuzzi, y'all. So I'm about to um Y'all I wanna do this so bad. Oh, then I got this little pool down here. It's a Agua Halada. Oh, that's ice water. Oh, I might do that. I ain't never had no ice bath before. Let me show y'all what they got. So I'm walking back to my room. Um, I actually want to go to one of the restaurants that's downstairs. I think they sell burgers. Do I want to eat in my room? Or do I want to eat out here? I'm gonna decide. I don't know. I know I'm done. I'm over room service. Like no. I mean, I understand room service is free, so I was never expecting it to hit. You know what I'm saying? Like a five-star meal, but yeah, no. 
And y'all, I wish I can get on this. Let me show y'all. I wish I can get on that. I'm gonna ask my butler. But from what I seen, the little sign, it say um, family only. Like, what that mean? Like, you had to be a mother, father, and some kids. I really want to do that. Look at the little hippie buses, y'all. It's like so many photo shoot areas. Pictures coming, pictures coming, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. That shit look fun as hell. I'm gonna show y'all the sign. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Because it's giving discrimination. This whole place discriminates. Oh, you can't do. I'm gonna show y'all. Like I was saying, this whole place discriminates because I couldn't get my romantic dinner home. Like I was saying, the whole place discriminates because I couldn't get my romantic dinner on the beach because I'm not a couple. I came here by myself. And then they was telling me that everybody all in my face. Say hey. <sighs> then they was talking about some. Uh, you can't do the massage on the beach. I couldn't do the dinner on the beach because you gotta be a couple. Y'all don't believe in self-love? Coming on trips by yourself to spoil yourself? <laughs> like, it's not giving that. So I just had my dinner at a little hibachi place. They saying happy birthday and stuff like that. So it was decent. When he cooked in front of you. Like I said, it was just awkward being the only African-American person at the table. Because I wasn't really dressed to be sitting next to my family and kids. So... Oh, hand sanitizer. It was giving awkward. What I do now is take me a shower. I'm gonna do some light makeup. I'm not. I'm not about to do no nothing real big and beat. Cause like I said, I'm gonna have the cake. My bottle, the balloons, I'm gonna pop the phone right here or the tripod. I have my little picture of my black robe on. I ain't gonna be naked because I'm gonna do, obviously, I'm gonna be naked in the tub for the balcony shoot. So, pop my little robe on, you know, make it like a little cute birthday shoot. And then I'm gonna use the rest of these roses and stuff and have Angel come back and fill the tub up so I can do my outside shoot. So yeah, and then tomorrow morning, I'm waking up early, 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 like before, probably, probably either 4.45 or 5 o'clock in the morning because I want to do a sunrise shoot at the pool. They have like these cute little hanging, swinging chairs. I'm going to do a picture there and I'm going to do a picture on the beach, but I think I want the picture to be naked. I'm going to pop a picture on the uh, screen to show y'all what I'm trying to do on the beach and why I got to go so early so it's not a whole bunch of people looking at me being naked and shit. So, let me wipe my face because you know I'm sweating and I don't, I don't know. I was talking to my sister earlier, Amina, and I was telling her that I'm going to go to the doctor and get checked up because I want to make sure like it's nothing wrong with my sweat glands or, or nothing like that because I sweat terribly, like, like, oh, look at this, oh. My gosh, that is an ugly tan. I didn't know I was that bright. Anyway, but like I am sweating. It's just, it's just, it's not cute. I don't mind the body sweat because I don't sweat like that on my body. I really don't. It's my fucking face. It be the bridge of my nose. Most importantly, the top of my lip. That shit is annoying and it's not cute. You be looking cute and then you just sweaty and then you gotta keep wiping and it's not giving that. So I'm not gonna roll no J because I know if I roll a J, I'm not gonna wanna get up and do nothing. So I'm about to shower, take these pictures, and then go downstairs to get something to eat. So I will catch y'all when I'm going to get something to eat. It'll probably be some burgers. 
because I think they have like this burger festival or some type of thing down there. So I will get right back to y'all. Okay, so I guess I can show y'all me decorating the room for not even decorating the room for the photo shoot. Y'all seen in the other video these little flower balloons? They were all on the curtain, so I just changed them to them over here. So now I'm about to add these little green balloons. Hopefully, don't none of them pop on me because like three already pop. Oh, I know what I had. I had to turn this fan off. That's what they be blowing everywhere. Uh, there we go. All right, that fan off. So I got those balloons. And I got my cake. And I'm gonna light my candles once I get everything situated. Crabs, he was number one. Don't ask me why, but that one specific SpongeBob episode always pops up in my head. What's y'all favorite SpongeBob episodes, y'all? Mine's is the one when he was at the Super Bowl and he was singing that song. The other one is the Krusty Krab Pizza. Is the pizza the Krusty Krab? Yeah, yeah. That one. The other one with the number one hat. And when Squidward had his first Krabby Patty, them thighs got thick. So my four favorite SpongeBob episodes. All right. Um, is that extra? Do I just want to be in the bed with the roll with the cake? Or do I want to have like the whole shebang? And I got these roses right here. But I was going to put them in my bath. To, but I think, I think they would match because it's purple and green, ironically. It's no coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. That means this shoot about to come out fire. Watch it, I tell y'all. Y'all better follow me on Instagram so y'all can see them. Y'all about to open it. Oh. It was his hat, Mr. Krabs. He was number one. I don't think I like this green thing. It's kind of throwing me off. Let me look in the picture. Yeah, no, I don't want that. So cute, real cute, manifested. So y'all ask me how I be taking my own pictures on my trips. This bad boy right here, right along with this bad boy over here. It might not be over here, it's not. It's a little remote. So timer, ding, ding, ding. Okay, that's how I get my pictures. Y'all believe me, think I don't be on these trips for myself, but that's how I get my pictures. Because my friends don't know how to take good pictures. I'm gonna tell you that now. I take good pictures of my friends. The pictures they take of me be blurry, pixelated, the angles be off. I be pissed. So I just bring my own tripod and I stop taking their pictures. Cause I, I don't I don't care if it's petty. Here, you wanna use the tripod? Okay, here, because I'm not taking your pictures. Because y'all don't take my pictures well. And then you be they be seeming irritated because I be wanting more than one picture. Like, uh -uh. I need some photography friends. Any photographers out there that wanna be my friend? Come on, baby. 240-555-4762. Hit me up. <laughs> you know a nigga named uh number wrong, they say 555. That's for the movies. Come on, baby. If you want me to come, I'll be around. Here comes to the land. With the most beautiful things that come out of my mouth. I can make a blind man believe in the boogie. I didn't understand that. He should have said I can make a deaf man believe in the boogie. Not a blind man. What I gotta do with anything? These are the random thoughts that I cut out, y'all, which I probably might still cut it out. I don't know. I'm just talking. Mm. 
green for the money. Yeah, I need to eat because I just took that little shot of Don Julio and it just let me know that nothing's on my stomach. Say less. Angel all day, y'all. I only seen him one time today. Angel's my butler. I only seen him one time today, and that was when he halfway escorted me to the spa. Y'all, uh, people was really feeling away because I unfollowed them for not telling me happy birthday. And let me tell you why I did that. It's the fact that you watched my whole story, my whole close friends, but you don't, you can't type a few letters to say happy birthday. No, nah, that's giving creep. That's giving you watching my page for somebody else. It's giving it's not, you know, you're not doing that. You know? And you can't hit me with the... Why would I wish you happy birthday? I don't know you. Why the fuck was you watching all 58 slides of my, uh, of my story? You might as well. It's giving creepy. It's giving you're watching my page with somebody else and reporting it to them. It's giving blocked. It's giving unfollow. And I don't block people. I just unfollow them. Uh, yeah. Or take them out my close friends. Because I'd be damned. I be damn, you don't like nothing, you don't comment on nothing, you don't vote when I do little polls, you don't do nothing, you don't support, you don't buy shit, like you just don't do. <laughs> so it's not giving that. So be mad all y'all want. I don't care. That's rude shit. I wish people happy birthday. I don't know them. Especially when I'm out in public. That's like the best feeling. Happy birthday, girl. But you cannot expect miserable people to do, you know, non-miserable things. Y'all, I've been getting better at my, um, y'all see me? I've been getting better at my little, you know what I'm saying? Dirty. I said I was getting better. I didn't say I was perfect. I ain't got the mega me yet. All right, so y'all also have this little blanket. I said this blanket. I have these balloons right here, but this one right here pop, so it's not as giving three leaf clover instead of a flower. Does it look good or is it giving dick? I might not need this one. But I just wanna add it because I'm extra. So I'm gonna add it. Wait, let me see how it looks on camera. Put it right there. No, it's not, it's not necessary. That's the one too much. All right, y'all. Let me show you. I'm a little set up. Right, so like I said, those balloons was right along there. I just taped it, taped it, taped it. Do have some colorful rosies. And I got my tripod stand right there. And that's how I be taking my pictures, y'all. Actually, I need to find my remote. And somewhere here. So just found my remote. And then I will catch y'all when I'm going to get something to eat. Okay? All right, y'all. So I'm headed to get me something to eat. I think it's this place called Unaroll Burger. 
so I'm gonna go do that. And then I haven't even done my photo shoot yet, y'all, because I realized I was like, damn, I'm really hungry. Uh oh. It's only because I took that shot of 1942. So that made me really realize, like, oh shit, great, you're hungry. So now I'm headed to get something to eat. It says it's seven minutes away. But I forgot that I'm walking. So, yeah. Like, what's that? There has to be a restaurant closer to me. There has to be. It has to be. I'm going to just keep walking. Stop. Don't be lazy. Enjoy the experience. Walk around. So, I'm headed to the front lobby. And... See what they got to eat. And I already know I'm sweating. But look, I got on some jeans this time. Because my mentality when I go on vacation is to dress like I'm in Miami. But this is like real family oriented. So I guess it's not giving that. It's not giving that at all. Because I be getting nothing but stares. Not like bad stares, but just nobody won't be stared at, you know. But I'm still walking. I'm going to catch y'all when I get, when I actually get there because this sun, bro, look at that shit. Can y'all see the sun? I don't know, but it's hot. But it's not like it's hot like Vegas. Like Vegas is real, like the air is so stiff, dry and humid. You get a little breeze out here every once in a while, you know. But it's definitely not like Vegas. I can tell you that now. And I wasn't going to put no mask on because they check you for COVID twice when you get here. So that comes with it come with all that. So I was stuck between the New York burger or the Mexican burger, so they both look good. But I'll let y'all know when my food get here, okay? So I just got my food. I decided to sit outside because I didn't like that bar area. All right, y'all, I came inside because it was hot and it was a whole bunch of flies, so. Oh, no. This is water for you. 
No, they left it there. Put condiments on this, they got starting to set up for the movie tonight not the movie the performance I'm more than likely gonna go I think it starts at 9 30 so right now it's only about I think it's about to be five so I don't know if y'all can see them but yeah, they practicing and stuff but yeah um, I'm gonna probably go to that. Hit up one of the bars. Cause you know all the liquor is free here, so why not? Actually, I'm gonna hit up one of the bars now. Excuse me. Do I go to this bar or the bar in there and the preferred? You are preferred? Yes. That one? Okay. Thank you. Like I said, go to preferred. <laughs> No problem. 
problem. Straw broke. Yeah, it's strong, okay? But I never had the passion fruit mojito before, and it's really good. Yeah, my straw is definitely broke. That food was bomb. The food was really, really good, actually. I was surprised. So I was looking at that. I'm like, this burger thick as shit. Well, the bread was thick. And the patty was kind of thick, too. But it was really, really good. So I'm about to head back to the hotel. Back to my room. And take these pictures. And I'm going to roll up. And probably go ahead and smoke. Um, after that, head to the beach. And then get ready for this uh, Dominican Republic show at 9.30. Hola. Yes. <laughs> drinky, drinky. Me happy, happy. Everybody here is so sweet, so nice, so polite. So warm welcoming. Everybody says hello. It's just really nice. Really, really nice. So, I'll catch y'all definitely after the photo shoot. Definitely after I smoke. Definitely after all that. So, I'll probably catch y'all at the beach. Okay, cheers. All right, y'all, so I'm currently headed to the beach to read my Alicia Keys book for myself. I'm actually here, I might have taken my shoes off. So I'm just gonna sit by the water, read for like an hour and a half. And then I'm gonna go to the Dominican um, show that they're having tonight at 9.30. So, I'll keep y'all updated, but I'm gonna give y'all a nice little pretty visual. You know, this is beautiful.
smells so good out here, like straight seawater. So I'm about to just read my book. In the morning time, I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna meditate, you know. It's like having some me time. I love being by myself. I love just educating myself and learning and becoming better. It's an amazing feeling. But let me enjoy this before it gets too dark and then I can't read or see nothing. So, bye.